I will be right back. No problem, Bennett. Right after I get this. The new manager is a battle axe. I need to boost turnover or else. Sweat on you. Kind of cute. You sweating on food service items? A little less cute. All better. Oh my god, this is my favorite song ever. Oh my god, my ears are bleeding. Why am I your friend? Friend? Uh, you girlfriend, me boyfriend. You make me bathe daily, me make you go camping. Now, I know, I know we're not official, but we should be, so what do you say? Say yes. So is the royal tour standard the grassy procedure, or was it just because the shooting? The shooting is not what our school is about, so I guess the welcoming committee is just me trying to show people that there's other stuff. The cafeteria is next. Tasty burritos. Please excuse the interruption. Wood Page, Michael Chuck, and Margot Del Rossi, please report to the principal's office. This is Craig Manning from grade 11. This is Chester's first day. Oh, cool. Welcome. Can I talk to you for a second? Um, actually, I'm just... Uh, this way to Los Burritos? Yeah. So, a lot has been going on in my head lately, including thinking about last year. Craig, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Made a lot of mistakes since coming here, but you were probably the biggest. I mean, if I could go back in time, I would have stopped. That might save us both a lot of pain. That's all you think it was? A lot of pain? <sighs> Gee, thanks for your apology, but I'm fine. <laughs> Mademoiselle Spirit Squad, Mr. Prez, that's why we were called down. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if we've done something bad? Will it go on my record page? Will it cost me getting into the school of my choice? It's gonna cost you a hand-shaped welt if you don't calm down. Manny, hon, what are you up to? I'm just going to math, unfortunately. Well, because I am so nice, you can take my Radich meeting instead, okay? Radich, I'm actually really... Um, sometimes I so hate that girl. Uh, left side, smidge low. Don't they teach displays in teacher school? Yeah, it's my minor. Social faux pas, uh, it's not really me. Which is why showing up at the bar that night, it makes me a complete dork. Yeah, well, you know, dork with a lot of guts. That's a pretty good fake ID. Yeah, I uh, know the right people. So, uh, Charlie, she's pretty, great sense of humor, she's total package. Yeah, and uh, now she's totally my past. We broke up, not because of us, not that there, uh, not that there isn't us, but uh, Charlie and I, we just weren't working out. You're what? My brother's age, a year older than that. He's dating Marco. Wait, he's not Marco's teacher. Well, you're not mine. Not really. Paige, class isn't quite the same without you talking to Hazel, so... <laughs> if 
If you're waiting for the principal, and I assume you are, I'm not the principal you're waiting for. She's inside. Is that like a riddle, sir? No, it's like the board has assigned me to another school. Surprise, surprise. Hello, you're our new principal? Uh, yes, I am, for the time being. So, where's Paige? I'm Paige, for the time being. All right. So, the board has done their part in helping everyone deal with the shooting. And now, it's our turn. We need to bring school spirit back. Well, what about the school play? Ah, uh, this is my next meeting. With JT and Liberty, I'm gonna green light their project. Uh, this is great for so many reasons. Marco thought we were in trouble. Shut up, Manny. No, <laughs> you're not in trouble at all. In fact, we need some more great ideas. When I say we, I mean you too. So she wants us to organize this huge event to raise school spirit. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's cool. I need ideas. Emma, please help me. No, please. I'm sure you'll think of something. Bat, bat. <laughs> well, hi, I'm Lala Lama from Fluffy Fluff Collection. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> cool. Um, so about what I asked you yesterday. We're having fun, right? So why do we have to go and make it all official? Because that's what couples do. Oh, yikes. I've so got to run, but thanks for the llama. All right, so what do you got? Hit me. Um, I'm thinking fun fair and field trip. What? No, nah, come on, this dude junior high. You just want to dance, admit it. Everybody likes to dance. The young, the old. Uh, my ex school had this great dance this one time. Uh, it was a Cupid theme. Everybody paired off by computer. Oh, electronic ice breaking, nice. The idea is yours if you want it. Of course, it'll cost you a free ticket. And a dance. And you know, I think he was talking to you. Dance. Hold on to your hearts as Cupid has his way. Computers will be set up around the school. Answer a few questions, and when you arrive at the dance, your love match will be waiting. Mr. Oleander's a teacher, Paige. Thanks, Marco. I didn't realize that. Why do you keep talking about him like he's a hot 12th grader or something? No, he's a big baby. He won't take the next step. He won't even crawl towards it. Ow, my cramp. Ow, unwise decision. It's not a decision. I can't turn off how I feel. Fine, it's not conventional, but I thought you of all people would understand. What do you want me to do? Be on my side, for starters. Namaste, yogis and yoginis. Um, Miss Kwan, this is Mr. Oleander's Ashtanga class. Not anymore. With his workload, yoga was too much of a commitment. So, you and Marco have passwords, you can access the program before the dance and generate your results. Wow, you make it sound cool. Well, basically, you plug in a name, then you answer fields like favorite superhero. Does Bubbles from the Powerpuff Girls count? No. <laughs> no. How about favorite movie? Ooh, definitely, honey. Boyfriend's name? I don't have one. Nothing serious, anyway. So, why don't you put in your name? Just for fun. Okay. Compatible. Even if we are the only two people in the program. Thanks. 
Chester. It's going to be amazing. I'll make sure that Marco gets his password. Banana sandwich for your thoughts? Not about that kid, are they? Who, Chester? No. No, I'm just distracted lately because I'm organizing this entire dance. With Marco, who I've spoken to, oh, I don't know, eight times today? Look, I'm sorry. Tomorrow, every single dance is yours. You'll get sick of all the attention. <sighs> I work tomorrow night. So? Ask for a doc, say you're sick or something. I can't. Grim Reaper will fire me. My own boyfriend can't make it to my dance. Boyfriend? Funny, I, I thought we were just dating. You don't want me to be your girlfriend. You just think it's what couples do. And you're not gonna convince me of this stupid stuff llama for 10-year-olds. Craig gave me one two years ago. What, what are you talking about? If you can't commit to a simple dance, how can you commit to me? Manny, what? I love Degrassi. It's been such an important part of my life. But all good things must come to an end. I look forward to the challenges and opportunities that are set out before me, as does your new acting principal, Ms. Hatsalakis. Thank you, Mr. Roddick. And thank you for your many years of dedicated service to this school and its students. You dump spin because of a dance. Say, Dan, we're all gonna I didn't you dump spin because we were never and going out. He's heartbroken. You know that, right? Staff. So Here's my president of student council. Was it working Marco out? We need to move on. Why? <clears throat> Marco? Marco. The uh, president. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. This is on behalf of all the students here at Degrassi, Mr. Radich. We're gonna miss you. Thank you. Thanks. Second, the computer decides, Manny, not you. Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to Spin? Excuse me? He loves you, okay? And I know you care about him. So stop being afraid of what happened last year with Craig and just take a chance. You needed to hear it from someone. And you need to get over yourself. Hey, congrats on the kiss mate. Oh, hey, Manny. Hey. So, Chester, I owe you. Your theme, your one dance. You're right. I'm just gonna go get a bag of chips. Do you want anything, Chester? No, I'm fine as is. you get, Mr. O? I'm not a student. I didn't participate, Paige. <sighs> what do I do? Don't ask me. 
as of now, Paige, you're fresh out of Marco's favors, okay? I was at the dot, and I thought, I can clear plates anywhere, but where do I order me another Manny? I told you. I know, I know. I should have taken the night off. Plus, giving you a real reason why I want us to be official. I want you to be my girlfriend because we have fun, because you make me happy, and I want you to be my girlfriend because I can't imagine it any other way. You're on the rebound. That doesn't mean anything. It means everything. Rebounds never work out, so we end it now before either of us gets hurt. I thought you'd want the pink pop. She doesn't know what she wants. You either like me or you don't. I'm sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. Matt. I'm sorry about the dance floor. Just everyone was watching and... So? I don't know. I get embarrassed. I'm sorry for being embarrassing. No, I, I didn't mean that. Can we just start again? What am I doing? It's okay. It's just, let's just go back to the dance. I'm sorry, Chester. It's because I'm the new kid on the block? No, no. You're a nice guy. It's just... I have a boyfriend. Welcome to Degrassi. Matt! Go home, Paige. You've already caused enough damage tonight. I'm sorry! Oh, you know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been... We were both there. And I understand if you can't do this. Can't get caught. Not again. But we have to meet off school grounds. Like this bus stop. It's technically city property. And at Degrassi, we're totally normal. Totally. Till end of term. It's not so long at all.
<clears throat> you were wrong earlier when you said I didn't know what I wanted. Okay. Last year, with Craig, what he did to me and how he treated me, it hurt so much. So what I want is to never, ever feel that way again. Okay. You have to promise me. Promise me that you'll never, ever break my heart. Okay. No. Not okay, Spit. Promise me. I promise. I will never hurt you.